Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Wednesday brought a little unexpected excitement for the astronauts when early morning alarms indicated a possible ammonia leak on board the station. Just to be safe, all six crew members sealed themselves in the Russian segment while mission control sorted through the problem. Once it was clear it was a false alarm, the astronauts continued business as usual. And a lot of that business is unloading the thousands of pounds of cargo and experiments that just arrived on SpaceX's Dragon. The resupply ship arrived on Monday and was grappled using the robotic arm. Once attached, the hatches were opened and the crew got right to work, unloading and conducting some of the time-sensitive science experiments that made the trip up. One of those experiments is on its second flight to space and is vital to keeping current and future space travelers healthy. The T-cell activation and aging study, activated by Samantha Cristoforetti on Tuesday, takes T-cells, a type of white blood cell, and analyzes them to help researchers create better measures to prevent disease in crew members during spaceflight. Understanding how immunity gets activated or suppressed will also help treat autoimmune diseases here on Earth. This week's question comes from our friends at Skyview Elementary, home of SVTV Channel 6 News. They wanted to know if the crew would be able to see a tsunami or volcanic eruption as it takes place. Well, the answer is yes, and here is some pretty stunning proof. Astronauts take hundreds of thousands of images of planet Earth, and sometimes they catch the more extreme side of nature, ranging from volcanoes and forest fires to hurricanes and massive lightning storms. These pictures can also serve an important role in helping those affected down here on the ground, giving rescuers a unique view from 260 miles up. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag SpaceToGround. We'll see you next week.